Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to Target to go apartment shopping. Here's the thing. I told myself I wasn't going to buy all my apartment stuff at Target, and then I went to Target the other day with my friend, and everything I saw I loved, and I was like, this is exactly what I want. I had to control myself, not let myself buy it on the spot, and wait to vlog it with you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna buy everything from Target once again, because they just have such good stuff. I can't help it. I love Target. We are going there. This is my outfit. This top is so cute. We're gonna head out to Target. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram, all the good stuff. Let's go to Target. So excited. Ah, I love Target. We're here. We're in the Target parking lot. I'm so excited. Let's go in. Can you tell how excited I am about this? Okay, we're here. I'm so excited. So I'm in the home decor aisle. It's kind of like quiet in here, which just makes it a little awkward to vlog. You guys always ask about this. This is the throw blanket that I have. I think I have the full queen size, but I love it so much. It's so good. I'm gonna use it again next year because it's that good. I even really like this. I don't want a duvet cover. I think I want an actual comforter, but I like this a lot. I wonder if they have this in like a comforter or in white, but do you see the texture in it? Like that is so pretty to me. I love that. I want something with texture, like a bedding with texture, but not too much. Oh, I see white. Me reversing my cart. <laughs> oh, that's only for King. Dang it. Do they have no, that's also, I guess I could get it online. They're playing Taylor Swift. I love it here. I don't know if you guys can hear Love Story in the background but I'm thriving because of it. I don't know if these are the exact ones, but I got my sheets from this brand, Casa Luna. I think that's a, like a pretty big Target brand right now. Same brand as this. I'm kind of wondering if I should get the same sheets I had last year or if I should try to find something else. I feel like they're in between like silk and cotton, if that makes any sense. We're in the aisle over now, which is comforters, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm trying to look for like a white comforter with some texture. This is a twin XL. Oh, this is a full queen. I don't mind this one. Do you see all of that? I feel like it's kind of cute. I don't know if it, oh, Oh, I just hit my camera. It's kind of like a quilt, I think, which I think I live in Arizona, so that might just be like way too hot for here. Like probably way too much. This bedding right here is what I currently have on my bed, except for I have the comforter version of it and I prefer it so much more to a duvet. I will link both of them down below for you guys because they still sell them. This though is very soft. I don't want it, but it's very soft. I enjoy it. This I think was the bedding that I almost got last year. If you guys were watching my videos, I think I'm glad I didn't get it. I don't think I want it because like this is white and then this is like an off-white, which just kind of is weird. I'm not finding any comforters that I love in this aisle, but they have a ton right here. So that's where we'll go next. We're walking to it. Okay, these are just like simple, basic ones. I feel like these are very like dorm inspired almost. This one's a king, but I actually like this one. Oh, they have some other white ones. This is the pillow that I currently have. Oh, it's buy one, get one 50. I love this pillow. It's the best pillow I've ever had. When I was here the other day, they had the cutest bedding that I saw and now I'm not seeing it. So I'm like, I'm wondering if it's sold out or if I'm just not looking in the right place, but it was so cute. There was a few that I liked and I can't find any of them. This always happens. Now we're looking at throw pillows. I love throw pillows. They're like my favorite thing on this earth. Oh, here, I'll be a good person. I'll pick this one up. I don't know where it goes, so I'll just, there. <laughs> oh, I see why it keeps falling. Oh my, God. you're kidding me. Stay. Okay, I saw really cute throw pillows yesterday. Now I'm like insecure that everything I like just sold out. They were so cute. I love this pillow. I'm worried that it's way too big. Like compare it to my hand, it's huge. It's probably bigger than the average pillow is. And any pillows that we're seeing, this one's cute. It's just like simple and white. This one's also really cute. I really like that one. I'm just gonna throw them in my car and then if I don't like them, I can put them back. I'll put them back where they belong. But any other ones we're seeing that are calling to me, speak to me pillows. I don't know if that's weird. I do like that one. I do think that one's cute. This one's also kind of nice. I, I don't know. It's picking up a different color on camera, but I'm looking for very just neutral, simple pillows. I love this basket. I think it's so cute, but I feel like nothing would fit in it. I feel like it's made for children, but then I saw this basket, and this is like exactly what I'm wanting, but I already have a ton of basket, but it's like exactly what I'm wanting. Wait, maybe I should rearrange this better. That's a big basket. It can fit quite a bit. Oh no. What? Oh, I did not expect that. I feel so stupid right now. This cute, like simple pillow that I really liked is actually the back to this pillow. It's just like this weird color block with like blue. Why am I still into the back of it though? Cause it has like white and neutrals. I don't know why am I into the back of this pillow? I feel so stupid for not realizing that, but maybe it's reversible. Cause it doesn't look like it's the back of, oh, it's on clear it. It's a repackage. It was 22, now it's 15. 
but does that mean I can't return it? The fact that I like the back of a pillow more than the front. I know this is kids bedding, but I actually really like it. I think it's really cute. This one I also think is really cute if they had it in white, but it doesn't look like they do. Why do I like the kids decor? Oh, these lamps are so cute. Like that one is adorable. This one's cute. It's a little much. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. I would like everyone to know that I found the bedding that I'm obsessed with and I'm so happy about it. You're probably underwhelmed, but it's this bedding right here. Okay, I feel like I'll probably go for this one because this one looks like it's more like intact. This one's falling apart. This one's almost falling apart. It's not the softest thing, but I wonder, oh my gosh, that's probably what they did. Oh, that is not... Oh no, now I'm second guessing this, but I love this bedding. If you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know that I love this like waffle texture. I feel like it's perfect. I love it. I just love it so much. Maybe if I wash with like fabric softener, it will be softer, but I think it's so cute. I don't know. I saw this forever ago and I was obsessed with it. They have it in other colors too. I actually, no, I don't like that. Like I thought I did. I'm trying to see if there's anything down here that I like. I actually like this. That's more of like a gray undertone. This one's simple, which I actually really like. It's just, there's not much to to it. It's just a basic comforter, which I actually do like. It's cheaper than the other one too. Oh no. Oh, we have some more over here. So many options now. I do think I'm going to stick with this one though. I can always return it. That's my thought process. I wonder, what do you guys think? It's so cute though. Look at it. The only thing that's making me worried is that it's not soft, but I had this exact same conversation with you guys in my last video for this last year that my bedding was not soft. And then I ended up thinking it was super soft. So maybe it's just the packaging. I'm finally getting my own bathroom this year, which means I can decorate it however I want to. I know that the cabinets are like dark espresso and there's like a darker granite, but that's about it. So I'm kind of debating with the idea. I'm like, do I want to make my bathroom like a fun color and do something different? Or do I want it to continue like my bedroom? My bedroom's gonna be like very white and neutral and gold. Do I want to continue that into my bathroom and have it be very cohesive? Or do I want to switch it up and do something fun? Like do like a blue or a pink or just like a different color that I've never really done before this past year. And then this upcoming year, I'm sticking with very neutrals. So I'm like, do I want to do something fun with it? Because at first I was like, oh, I'll just do something neutral. I'll just continue the theme. But then I was like, this is my own bathroom. I can have fun with it if I want to. This right here is kind of what inspired it. I really like this one as well. I guess I really just like this brand, but I love this. Because at first I thought I was going to do something sort of like my bedding. Like I saw this waffle shower curtain. I'll find it. It's somewhere in here. It's from here. I'm going through a waffle obsession. Maybe I'm just hungry. I don't know. Oh, is this it? This is it. And it's cheaper too. It's like half the price, but it's boring. Boring. So I don't know. I'm also wondering what I should get for like my countertop. Should I get something like this for my countertop or should I get like something like this? Or do I not do the gold? Do I do something else? This is really pretty. I don't know what I would even put on this though. I guess I could put like my products. That'd be cute. Part of me is like, do I wait till I move into my apartment to buy them? But I don't want to have to do that. This is also really pretty, but I feel like I'd never refill this. Like I'm trying to be functional here. Oh, that's a shower curtain. I like someone put it there. I don't know. I think that my style might just be very boring and just neutral and basic, but but I never thought about maybe I think this is the shower curtain that I liked this one's ten dollars more than the other one But the waffles like a little bit bigger. I like it a lot I also like this a lot. This one's like so much thinner. This one kind of just feels like thin fabric I kind of think I like the other one better and it's cheaper on the other hand There's this one with this really pretty texture. This one's 20 the waffle that I liked was 20 oh, It fell it fell uh, uh, abort mission waffles 25 and then I think this one's 35 which now that I'm thinking about it I really like the color so many people just walked into that aisle in the middle of me vlogging but basically i was saying that i'm not sure if i want to spend extra money on a cheap curtain liner because i'm kind of just paying for the brand name i want to now decorate it fun it's my bathroom i've never done that now i'm in the curtain section here they have this really cool blackout curtain that i saw that i liked that's a really pretty blackout curtain i've never seen one that i've liked that much but there's only one i guess there's other targets around but also maybe i should wait until i like figure out if i'm gonna hang curtains i want to but maybe i should do that after i move in still debating these i'm not entirely sure why but i love love this pillow. I think it's so cute. It's just so simple. I'm looking for very simple things because the idea that I have like my headboard is kind of dramatic. So I want to bring everything down so it's not like, whoa. So we have like some colors, some textures, but it's not like all in your face. That's kind of what I'm envisioning. But I will do a video explaining the whole design of the room. But I feel like I need simple pillows this time. I also do need a mattress topper because I'm getting a bigger bed. I'm getting a queen this year and I have a full now. And I'll probably need like a mattress like cover protector. I got my freshman year one from Bed Bath & Beyond and I loved 
that so i'm kind of thinking if i should go back there but it was also very expensive it's such like a risk oh wait i thought these were i thought these were examples it's not <laughs> it's such a risk buying mattress toppers from places because you don't know what they're gonna feel like because they're all packaged up i'm like i want some samples i want to get some floor lamps and i like both of those i don't know where i'd put them so maybe i should wait and then buy them after i move in but i do really like those oh i see another one that i like hmm target is popping off love you target Ooh, these three feel so luxurious there's a ton of baskets in this section that i could look at why am i not surprised that chip and joanna have the cutest stuff like i love this when would i ever use it probably never but i love it also probably would never fill these up i love these i wish they had like toothbrush holders i've always loved these two things but where would i put them i want a gold round mirror like this so bad i know exactly that i want it but i know that ikea has one too and i just can't figure out the price of it i obviously want to buy the cheapest one they have so i don't know if this one's cheaper or if the ikea one's cheaper they also have this like square round one which i also really like but i think can you see me hello i think oh, this is impossible Ooh, i actually like this one a lot the round one i just have that idea more in my head but i also like this mirror i really want like a golden floor length one this one goes over your door which isn't exactly what i want but i like that it's gold and it's like a little rounded ideally i'd like a gold like circle round one at the top as well oh uh, this is the mirror that i have right now i love it i'm obsessed with it i'll link it down below it's so good i got that mirror for my mom because she wanted it oh this one's cute this, oh that is cute i like that i have the target circle app so i can scan the barcode and figure out the price oh that's also cute i'm just seeing a million things that i like right now it's 70 dollars Ooh, they have some other they have some good ones online. The Target online section, like I love this. I wonder how tall it is, if it's like tall enough that I want, but wow, I think that's so cute. They also have like a ton of other really, like that's so cute. Why are all their cute stuff online? Target. My friend and I were sniffing all of these candles the other day and we were like, oh my God, do we feel lightheaded from doing this? But they have some that are really good smelling. Oh, it's sold out. Oh, this one smells amazing, but the packaging's not cute. That one is supposed to smell like anthropology, I think. I think this is really cute cute that's adorable i also saw i like this but i feel like it's way too big this one's so cute i love like an antique gold these are so cute on my nightstand together i think that would be adorable what do you guys think we'll get them oh, i love target target is seriously my kryptonite because they have everything i would ever want it's addicting i was wandering down this aisle and i was like this is really nice i'm wondering if it's like too cheap though if it's not strong enough to hold a ton of products i also like this but i'm not sure if i have a tub or a shower and i feel like it wouldn't really work in a tub as much there's like the lip edging and then I also saw these and I was like, oh, these are nice. Like that is so nice. Also this like Lazy Susan thing, great storage target, great job. And like these, I'm very impressed. I kind of want all of it, but again, I think I'm gonna wait until I move in to see what I need and what I don't need because I don't want to buy stuff if it's not practical. Okay, I feel like I need to sort through what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. This pillow, keep. I keep telling myself, I'm like, I can always return it. The war between the shower curtains. This one is like so much thicker than this one and it's cheaper i do really like this one but i feel like it, it's cheap it's expensive with cheap quality it's like you're paying for like the Casaline brand definitely oh, i dropped something i'm trying to look at all the pillows next to the bedding to make sure that they're like the right shade i feel like this one is honestly too almost green undertone ish now that i'm looking at it next to like actual brown things and like it kind of looks like a throw up color oh i dropped it i just love this i feel like it's is it stupid that I like? It's so similar. I feel like it's so similar. And I don't know if I could return it. This one is like so close to this color, but it looks like it's like dirty. This might be lame, but I'm trying to figure out how I would position them because they're the same height. I wish that this one was like a little taller. I feel like because they're the same height, there's no way of like really well decorating them. Imagine another pillow too. I don't think it works. So I have to pick one. I think I'm going to pick this one. Okay. I also know I really should not buy the basket, but I think I'm going to buy the basket. I feel like we made good progress, but there's still other things that I need. For example, I need sheets. I need need two more throw pillows. I need a duvet comforter. No. Mattress topper. I feel like there's a bunch of other little things. Oh, nightstands. There's a ton of other things that I need. But I feel like this is a good starting point. We got some decor. We got the bedding. The bedding is like the number one thing that we needed for the room. Okay, let's go check out. I'm probably going to scan every single one of these items to make sure there's not a coupon. So hopefully it's not too expensive. I don't know if this is just me or thing that Target does to make you spend more money, but I always feel lightheaded by the time that I leave Target. I don't know what it is. Also, the prettiest lady was like the lady that checked me out and she did it on like one of those like like phone things but she texted me my receipt which kind of makes me scared 
I want to return any of this stuff, I put it back here. I have to move out of my current apartment before I move into my next apartment. So I think that it makes the most sense to just bring this stuff to my parents' house next time I go. I don't have to move it twice. So it's just going to sit in my back seat for a while. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous if I need to return anything. If I find anything I like more that the receipt was texted to me if I lose it. There's also a car wash place in this complex. It's not picking it up too well, but my windshield is really dirty. So is my car from the Haboob yesterday. If you don't know what Haboob is, it's like a giant dust storm. And I'm afraid there's going to be another one actually. What should I look? I'm gonna look it up. If there's no more haboobs, I'm getting my car washed. It's been almost a month since I filmed this video and I just forgot to upload it and forgot to film an outro, so sorry about that. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not already. I'm moving into my apartment soon so you guys will see all this stuff in action, but I love you guys. Bye.